my 2022 luxury wish list. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. Let's start with shoes. I was a shopper that shopped for things that were pretty, <laughs> right? And I still want my things to be pretty, but there are some basics that I am missing. The first pair of shoes that I want are some Manolo Blahniks. You might be thinking of these shoes, <laughs> but I'm actually thinking about the May sales. I said this in my last um, wish list, and I got them this year, um, or I got them last year, but I got the wrong size and I got them for a hell of a deal, right? Um, but the size didn't fit and by the time I sent it back, sent them back, they didn't have my size again. They run so small that you have to go a few sizes up. So I know that now I don't want to pay full price because I know that I could get them on a good uh, at a good sale from like Gilt or one of those kind of places. Um, so I'm kind of waiting for my right time. I do want them in a neutral color, so black or beige or brown um, or something like that. And to me, this is the kind of shoe that is not necessarily blingy. Um, if you know, you know. And it's just a staple. So like I said, I did have these last year. As soon as I figure out the sizing and find them at a price that I'm willing to pay, I will be buying these May sales. The next shoe, luxury shoe that I want are these YSL slingbacks. Now, to some people these may look boring, <laughs> but to me they read classic, they read forever. I probably would not wear these like like Charlotte from Sex and the City. <laughs> I would probably wear these with some straight leg jeans, a crisp white shirt, a clutch, maybe um, a fedora, or maybe some really cool oversized sunglasses. Um, I just like the classy and the classicness of these. If you watched my Gucci platform video, you know that I was trying to choose between the platforms and these shoes. And though the platforms are cute and I still love them even though they didn't work for me, these YSL shoes are more my speed and something that I feel like I can wear forever. If you notice, there's like a trend here with the Manola Blahniks and the YSL. I love a kind of dainty type of shoe if I'm going to spend a lot of money on it, right? Um, speaking of dainty type of shoe, the next shoe that I want are the Hermes Orion sandals. So last year I got the Fendi sandals, which I love. Um, I'm very happy I got them. I got them for a decent price. And again, these are something that I will wear forever. They were on my last uh, wish list. I didn't get them because I got the Fendi ones instead because I, <laughs> I found them at a good price. But I'm trying to go straight head on and not get distracted this summer and get these. I'm not quite sure what color I want as of yet, but I do know that these are a staple and you should have them. Any luxury fashion person should have these staples, obviously, if these are your style. And you guys, as far as shoes are concerned, luxury shoes, that's it. I was thinking that anything trendy that I want, I don't think I'm gonna have them be luxury, right? So if I want a pair of platforms like the Versace platforms that everybody loves, I'm not gonna pay full retail for them um, simply because I know they won't be in style forever and I'm not a fashion collector. I don't have the space. I'm gonna spend money on something I need to hold a strong place in my wardrobe. Maybe at some point when I have more space and I have more money, I could start bringing in those types of pieces. But as for right now, I'm going to stick to the classics. A lot of places like Jeffrey Campbell, Sam Edelman, um, um, it, I mean, there are tons of places where you can get really good dupes um, for trendy pieces, which is what I plan to do. My bags are pretty basic. I got very sidetracked last year with um, a lot of the contemporary bags, which I'm still loving and I'm still looking at, but I want some staples in my luxury wardrobe. I don't need a whole bunch of luxury things. In fact, I would consider myself to be a luxury minimalist, if that makes sense, um, just because, again, I don't have the money, I don't have the space, but I do love a little luxury. So what I want are some basic things that will carry me 
into forever. So the first piece you guys heard me talk about over and over again, it is the YSL Lulu. I was supposed to get that last year. Instead, I got my Antigonia. I do not regret it. I don't regret it at all because I love that bag. It was a very good sale. I had to buy it, right? It just meant that I had to push back my YSL bag. So that's what I want to get this year. I also was looking at the YSL uh, Reeve Ghost Tote. Again, that was on my list last year. I got sidetracked and got two Marc Jacobs bags. And honestly, if I think about it, had I not got both of those Marc Jacobs bags, I could have gotten my re my um, YSL tote, right? Um, but I, I love my Marc Jacobs bag, so I don't I don't regret it. But I still want that tote. In fact, I bought the first Marc Jacobs bag to like curb my want for the YSL tote, but it's still there. <laughs> It's still there. That want is still there. So I'm really thinking this year that's one of the things I might want to pick up. Did you guys know that was that there was a clutch? That there was a YSL clutch that went with that bag? Super cute. That might be on the list too, actually. Because imagine putting it in the bag. That would be super cute. That would be super cute for the summer. Anyway, I think I just added something to my list. <laughs> Those two um, YSL bags are something else that I want on my wish list. Something that kind of resurfaced was this YSL clutch, this little hand clutch. It kind of resurfaced as a want for me when I saw Shani from Handbags and Happiness. Hey girl, if you don't follow her, I'll put her um, in the description box. She is a wealth of information when it comes to bags. Um, when I saw her not only have the YSL clutch, but the way she converted the clutch into a crossbody, super cute. And I've been looking at that clutch. I'm easily influenced, you guys. I've been looking at that for a while. Um, when I saw Mel and Melbourne get it, and I was like, this is a great idea. But I'm going to put it on the back burner because there's so many things I want. It's a very affordable, air quote, affordable um, bag. According to a lot of videos, it fits a decent amount. And the fact that it could be converted is very interesting to me. So that might be coming home <laughs> sooner than later. Look out for a video on that. But yes, I really think that that YSL uh, clutch would be um, a good addition to my handbag collection, which I'm actually reworking. I'm, I'm selling, I'm buying. I am really trying to rework that. Anyway, it's a nice clutch. It can be used for two things. That's on my list, probably sooner than later. The next bag is not YSL, shocker, but I have been going back and forth with it for a while because it's really just a basket bag, right? So since I've seen the Loewe basket bag years ago, it has gone up in price. And I don't remember what it was originally, but I almost feel like I should have gotten it when it first came out. Um, and it's, it's, it's not a crazy amount, but it's kind of a crazy amount for a basket bag. <laughs> I know that um, Tory Burch has one, which is cheaper. I haven't really quite decided that. I'm looking for a nice um, summer bag, even though we're months away from summer and spring, but it'll be here before you know it. Um, so yeah, that's like a maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. So there's a few clothing pieces that I want, not too many, but I will probably buy the sleeper dress again in black. I already have it in a beautiful peach color. It's amazing. I love it. I would like it in black. I love the sleeper PJs. And the last thing that I'm looking for is a Saks pot coat. Now, Jazz, hi Jazz, hey girl. Jazz has this beautiful Saks pot coat and I've been looking for I've been looking for um, a Saks pot coat for a while, right? And it has to be the right one. In fact, I've been looking for it since Tamar did her vlogmas. That had to be about two years ago. She had on this beautiful pink, I mean, I love pink, beautiful pink wool Saks pot coat. The moment she put it on, I died. So ever since then, I've been looking. <laughs> But I don't know if they make that pink one anymore. I've been I've been looking pretty hard for it. I probably won't buy it during the winter. What I realize is that during the summer you could get a bigger, better deal. Spring summer you could get a better deal on the Saks pot coats. So I will be looking this spring and the summer see what I could find. Hopefully I can find something that I love and for a price that I'm willing to pay. And that's really it as far as clothing is concerned. Um, for so many reasons. If, if we're talking about my luxury wish list, on the top of my my luxury wish list would be the luxury of me knowing what size I'm going to be. <laughs> this year, 
I've got to get this together. So I don't really have a, a long list of clothing just because I have to work this out. I have to continue to work out and eat well, and eat well. So I don't know guys, that's that on that. The next thing I have been looking at for years and have talked myself out of it um, because it's not a necessity, but like, who am I kidding? It's, it's kind of a necessity. So I am a planner person. It's been years since the whole planner community came out on YouTube and I've had an Aaron Condra planner, I've had Target planners, and then I eventually moved up to my Filofax planner and I thought that I was such a big deal with my Filofax. Um, but as soon as I saw the Louis Vuitton one, I was like, I need this, right? But it's been so many years, I've talked myself out of it. And I was like, fine, I'm just gonna go with the file facts. Then, politics and fashion does a video. I was like, oh, do I need this? No, 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 I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. Then, Hilo Luck said she was influenced by politics and fashion. I was like, oh man, do I need this? No, 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 I don't need this, I don't need this. Then, <laughs> Jasmine from Brown Girl Beauty NYC had that on her list and I was like, gosh, darn it, you need it. You know you need it. Stop playing around <laughs> and buy it. I mean, I'm already a planner, but why not plan in luxury, darling? I love this. The problem is I want the bigger one because my handwriting is big, horrible, <laughs> and bubbly, right? I have terrible handwriting, you guys. And see, that's why I haven't gotten, gotten it yet because in my head, if I'm going to spend that much money, it should be a pair of shoes or like a bag or something. So, it's back on the list. I feel like it will make my planning much better. I feel like I'll be much more productive. <laughs> we shall see. It's on the list. There are two um, black designers that I consider to be luxurious that I would like to buy from. I already have an Anifa, that red sweater dress. You've seen it if you've been following me for a while. I think it's fabulous. Um, I kind of want it in black. I wanted it in green. I wanted it in that beautiful rust color. But I keep going back to black for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm, I'm in a black and gold and beige moment for now. I mean, just for now. You guys know it could change. But even if I don't wear it with all black, like if I wear the black I forgot what it's called, it's on the screen, that black, if I wear this uh, sweater dress in all black with either black boots or those pink fuchsia boots and my pink Dior shades, like, yeah, that would be a look, right? So that's on my list, again, probably sooner than later, like that YSL clutch, <laughs> look out for that. Um, and at this point, that's it. That's it that I want from that site for right now. She has tons of things, guys. She has some beautiful pieces. Um, but that one is what works for me right now. And the other black designer is a handbag designer. And you guys have heard me talk about her before. I've seen it on my community page. But it is Anima Iris. Anima Iris has some beautiful, beautiful bags. Um, they're all leather. The design is unique. It appears to be fabulous uh, uh, craftsmanship. I just I can't wait to get my hands on one. She has so many different sizes, so many different colors, so many, so many different styles and textures. It's beautiful. Like what if I get the fuchsia one from Anima Iris, the black Anifa dress, and my fuchsia boots? Like what if, right? <laughs> Would this even be a Simply Cura wishlist video if I didn't tell you about a few sunglasses that I want? You guys, I don't. I need sunglasses like I need a hole in the head. <laughs> if you haven't seen my sunglasses collection video, go check it out. It's kind of obnoxious. I, I can't even lie. In fact, I have sold some sunglasses. Um, I'm going to sell more. And I told myself I'm going to buy these few that I'm about to show you um, that I have to sell a few a few in a few out i just it doesn't make any sense to have that many right on my list last year i talked about the dior glasses and i said uh, maybe because they're expensive and in my head i'm like these are still sunglasses why am i spending so much <laughs> for the sunglasses like these cost more than my loewe glasses which i adore um and those are expensive for what they are if i'm being completely honest but i keep seeing them and uh, I, that's why I have to stop watching like YouTube videos and stuff because I'm like, e, I kind of need that. And because the way my face is shaped, they will look really good on my face. That purchase is up in the air, but it's a little closer to my wallet than it was last year. The other pair I'm looking at are these 
completely oversized fabulous Gucci sunglasses um, the shape of these the oversizedness of these the obnoxious Gucci on Gucci side symbol on the side straight up my alley I'm not a big Gucci gal I'm not gonna lie to you she has has it like an old school kind of fit. It, it, Gucci's just not always for me, but the sunglasses are always, always on point for my face shape. So the Gucci ones and the Dior ones are on my list. And of course, as the year goes on, I will find more. I have a sunglasses problem, you guys. It's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> And the last thing on this wish list is the Valentino belt. Last year it was on my list as well and I kept going back to it and I couldn't pull the trigger. And I'm wondering if it's because of the size. I wanted the big one. So I'm thinking that maybe if I get the skinnier one, I wanted to make a list this year that was more thoughtful. Um, not just random things that I've seen on the internet or random things I know about. Things that would really have a space in my closet and my wardrobe and really do me some good. Stay tuned for the next video of the luxury items that I will not buy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video. You know, I really feel like these luxury houses sometimes just put out stuff just to see if we would buy it like there's a room full of people <laughs> that are like let's think of the craziest things put it on the market and see if the people will buy it